Bum 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 Who cares? Welcome once again, friends, to the Superman Video Diaries. A lot of you have been wondering, what have I been up to the past few years? I grew a beard, which is pretty cool. Uh, took a while to grow that because of uh, how my testosterone works. When you're the man of steel and not a uh, human, uh, growing a beard is a... It's a thing. But I saw the movie Man of Steel, which I'm sure you're all very, very excited to hear about. My thoughts on Man of Steel. Well, uh, I liked the movie. It was actually quite good, except for the final act when I murdered a lot of people, not really on purpose as much as just sort of by throwing people into buildings. I I did fight Zod in, in Metropolis, and a lot of people did die. That, that did in fact happen in my world. Uh, of course it did, because Zod is a, Zod's a douchebag. It didn't happen that way. That was not the way it happened. We didn't slam into a building. I mean, we knocked a building over and we did kill about 200,000 people. <sighs> not my finest hour. But then they made a sequel to that film, Batman vs. Superman. What did I think of that film? Wow. It was... Oh, it is blatantly inaccurate. Think about it as though you were a fast food worker who worked at McDonald's. And you worked there for years, you made a decent amount of money, you did a good job there. And then they made a movie about your life, and that movie was Good Burger. It seemed as though, uh, in the film, there was Lex Luthor, who was played by Mark Zuckerberg, who wanted to be the mad scientist from Amazing Spider-Man 2, and then he was, and then the thing from Incredible Hulk showed up. In the end, they called it Doomsday, and then my character fought it, and Wonder Woman was there, and I didn't exactly know how she fit into the whole thing, nor did I really understand the other characters. I felt like an 85-year-old woman watching the film, and I just could not understand what I was watching. I also found it particularly odd that Lex Luthor invented the logos for Wonder Woman and Cyborg and Aquaman. That's strangely meta. Look, if you like Batman vs. Superman, that's cool. If you don't like it, that's also cool. Because, personally, it's a movie about division. Batman and Superman. They have differences of opinion, and they end up fighting and doing things together. I can't totally tell what they did. I, all I know is apparently in the future I have bug men, which is kind of an interesting thing because I've never met a bug. That... No, I met a bug once. His name is Herbert. What a film. Two and a half stars. Hands down, straight down the middle. And that's what you want with a movie that is about a versus. You want people to be divided on the film. You want a movie that is, no matter what, divisive. Why? Because division is the answer to everything. That's what I have learned in my days, is if there is division in how we feel and think about things, then we don't like each other. And then there are villains and heroes and it makes things so much easier. That's just an opinion that I have and it's not necessarily fact, though it could be considered fact if you wanted it to be considered fact, if that was something that you were into confirming opinions as fact, which seems to be the case these days with people. So folks, that's it for today's episode of Superman Video Diaries. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you don't just remember somebody else is because that's what this world is all about division my god this was a bad movie wasn't it i just i just gave a good review to a bad movie didn't i it's not a very good movie it's wow whoops so in this film, Batman fights Superman, which is really stupid because in reality, we're actually very, very close friends. Batman one time saved me from a cat in a building. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense.